We are back, everybody, with the cast of Girls 5, Eva, Elise, excuse me, Renee, Elise, Goldsberry, Sarah Bareilles, Busy Phillips, and Paula Powell. Renee, um, is it true that you had a crazy time performing at a mall? Oh my God, how do you know that? Well, I got tipped off. Oh I got a gosh, hot tip. Oh my gosh, you got a hot tip. Yeah, um, I, I was doing Hercules, the movie. Does anyone remember yes. Hercules? Movie? I think it's like coming back. Yeah. Um, I was not around to get like the job of singing on the actual movie, but they hired a couple of us really great talented singers to uh, just kind of go and promote the movie and they created a mall tour. And I thought it was amazing until somebody from high school was like, Renee Goldsberry? <laughs> And what did you say? I was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Just do it, you know, <laughs> local mall, you know? <laughs> All right, um, Paula, you also had a very um, unique role when you were starting out. Is this true? And yes, what was after it? college, I also uh, did these, this uh, bunch of lottery commercials for the bingo scratch-off tickets. Which I watched. And oh my she God. watched them, and, and that's, that's, that's picture, me in the right picture. Here. You guys, yeah. and oh, I remember beautiful. watching and she, this. And she was in Arizona, so it, it got really famous in Florida, and then I started getting calls for different states where they're like, we're going to do that campaign here. They're like, we and, want your magic, yeah. man. And the premise was that I, it was Agnes and her organ, and I had a big poufant and a big purple <laughs> evening gown, and I was at a Wurlitzer organ, and I, I, it was bingo scratch-offs, and I would go, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, B-I... And the guy would come to the camera and he'd go, if you buy the tickets, we'll stop Agnes from singing. <laughs> and then something horrible would happen to me. The piano would fall. Oh, or... Sarah, is it true that something about a storage unit and maybe you possibly writing your song there? Oh. Yes, I did. I did. I um, shared a storage unit rental and we had like a whole band set up. And that's where I wrote Love Song in that storage oh unit. My oh my God. Oh my God. Thank God for that song. Yeah, yeah, it changed the world. Well, <laughs> speaking of storage, Busy, you recently cleaned out a storage unit with Mark. Yes. Her, her ex is a, a long time, uh, co like we're long time collaborators. We did, he wrote uh, Never Been Kissed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Into you. He and Abby wrote, uh, he's just not that into you. Yes. Um, we've worked together for so many years. Busy and I have known each other for so many years. So many years. And you are like the model co-parents. Oh. Everyone was loving the storage unit clean out. Tell me everything. How was it? I know, I know. I like actually was thinking about you because we did have some, we did have some never been kissed DVDs and um, and then we found some posters from he's just not that into you and things like that. And we went through this life together, oh. together. We went through all of our boxes that we hadn't seen honestly since we split up. And we really were able to, oh no, I might cry but we really were able to look at each other and say like, look at this beautiful life that we had together mm -hmm. and this is so nice and wouldn't it be nice if somebody else took it and brought it into their beautiful life and, and we can move on. Mm -hmm. So that's all. I know, I know, okay, okay, come sit with me, come sit with me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Paula, get in here. Yeah, Paula, get in here. <laughs> Not only is that so cool, but it's so inspiring. And listen, and here's the thing. Like, I think that we get so, in this culture, especially in our world, like, we get so hemmed into the ideas of what family looks like and what relationships look like. And, like, it's it can be lots of things. Like, if anything, like, it can be a number of different, like, uh, equations that equal family. Sarah's beautiful mom, uh, stepmom, and dad are backstage. Step -dad. To get, and stepdad are backstage. Like my entire like, family is backstage right now, divorced, remarried, best friends. And we really try to show up, you know, in love as best mm -hmm. we can, knowing that it's gonna not be a straight line. You know, it just, it will keep changing. Oh, love is Everything. not a straight line. Is that, is that a new single? Did I, just I was just gonna Did say, that needs to be a song. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to call Tina Fey <laughs> and <laughs> tell her about that because she keeps putting these wonderful things out into the world and you know, I woke up with my daughters today to watch the original Mean Girls. Like, I, I love what, you know, 
what's being created out there, mm -hmm. talking about how family functions, mm -hmm. and also, it's my favorite thing, it's laughs. Mm -hmm. That is the- Absolutely, it's the healer. It is the ultimate yeah. healer. She's and so, the healer. thank you for the season healer. three. We'll be right back, and I'm excited to share a very big, muscular.